Ever since COVID vaccines first became available, speculation about how long they might protect us has persisted, with some speculating that we might need booster shots as soon as six months later. But a new study found that the COVID mRNA vaccines induce persistent human germinal center responses. And in case you're wondering, yes, that's very good news. To me, it was very reassuring that the vaccine seems to be generating a very durable uh, and robust response. Dr. Jackson Turner is part of the team at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis that measured immune response activity in the lymph nodes of 14 participants who received mRNA vaccines over the course of six months. What they found was so encouraging, it caught them by surprise. It was working so well that you actually had to extend the study? Yes. We didn't think that we would need to go out quite as long because we did a very similar study uh, with the influenza vaccine. Um, and we saw that by six months, pretty much everything had, had wound down and was back to looking like a normal lymph node. And so we were a bit surprised to see that even 12 weeks after the last dose of vaccine, these are still going very, very strongly. Here's why that's so important. Inside the lymph nodes, the vaccines activate germinal centers, which basically act as boot camp for cells to better recognize and bind to those SARS-CoV-2 spike proteins you've seen. The longer that boot camp operates, the better chance we have at fighting off variants. And we've seen that this virus can adapt. Yes. But your research has found that our bodies are kind of adapting too if we've had the vaccine? Yes. And even after our lymph nodes return to normal, Dr. Turner says those specially trained cells should stick around. We know that these cells can migrate to the bone marrow uh, and persist for decades generating antibodies. He says there is still a chance that boosters could be needed if a variant escapes our immune response. And keep in mind the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was not part of the study. So is there a chance that Johnson & Johnson, because it's not an mRNA vaccine, might not last as long or may require a booster? That's a possibility. I would expect that similar structures are generated in the lymph nodes of people who've received the Johnson vaccine. I'm not sure if they would last as long, but that's certainly an open question, one that we hope to address in the future. And that is a question that this team at Washington University is looking into. They're enrolling people right now that have gotten that Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So they'll be getting answers on that in the coming months, Jana. Anything or did they mention, what about people who've already had COVID and got better? We know there's some natural immunity. Did the study find that they would benefit even beyond that by getting a vaccine? It really did. In fact, it showed that they might benefit the most. Uh, now, a few months, uh, a few weeks ago, this same team found that those that had natural immunity had it in their bone marrow, which is good. And it lasted at least eight months, maybe uh, like a year. But if they got the mRNA vaccine, they're seeing that added layer of protection. And they believe that this means that it will last several years, maybe many years. And that's one of those things that they said makes it really important, especially when thinking about trying to combat those variants. Even if you had it naturally, get another shot, Jana. Makes sense. All right. Thanks, Kent. So much information in there. So important.